Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October the 9th of 2020. Well, it is titled the very large array at moonset. So what do we see here? Well, off in the distance, we do see the moon setting. And as the moon sets, we can get a better view of the sky as the moon has a tendency to brighten the sky because it is relatively bright. And here we can see a number of stars and our own Milky Way galaxy off to the left hand side. Now, in addition, we see a number of radio antennas, and these are parts of the very large array, also known as VLA. Now, the VLA is a set of 27 radio telescopes that are out in New Mexico, and they are used as a single telescope. Now, how is that done? Well, radio telescopes can be signals can be combined together. So each of these is relatively small as radio telescopes go only about 25 meters across. And uh, so radio telescopes speaking, that's relatively small, but you can actually combine them together so they can stretch across more than 30 kilometers worth of space. And you can see the railroad tracks off to the right hand side, which can be used to actually move the VLA telescopes into different configurations. Configurations, So they can have a very wide configuration where they're a little bit larger apart further apart and a more compact configuration. But the, we use what is called interferometry with radio telescopes so that we can use widely separated telescopes uh, such as at the VLA here and we can observe the same object with them and record those signals and then we can process them together. And it gives us the effective resolution of a telescope with the distance between those telescopes. So if the telescopes are 35 kilometers apart, then that would give you the effective resolution of a 35 kilometer radio telescope. Now it certainly isn't feasible to build one telescope that is 35 kilometers across. However, we can space telescopes across the desert of New Mexico to be able to simulate one this large. Now astronomers also do this with other telescopes across the country and across the world to essentially simulate a very large telescope the size of the Earth. Now here we're celebrating 40 years of the dedication since the dedication of the VLA as an operating telescope. So it has been going now for 40 years and uh, a chance to see a little bit of it here as we look at it out in the desert of New Mexico. So that was our picture of the day for October the 9th of 2020. It was titled the very large array at moonset. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.